Hello there. It's April 30th, and that means it's my birthday. And I'm 41. And we're all still quarantining, so. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday! Okay, I'm gonna stop now. Um, we didn't have birthday hats. I thought we had a couple of them. Closest to a party hat I could find. I'm gonna shut that off. So here's my uh, birthday party hat. I'm gonna read off of a list so we don't ramble too much. My son wanted me to wear these. There are no lenses. <laughs> They're not real glasses, clearly. They are party glasses. And this is the party shirt. We're in a party mood today. Oh, I'm in my garage, so if you're hearing noises, I'm in my garage. There's, I'm on Long Island. There are still cars driving. I am 41, and I'm stuck here, just bored. And because we're all stuck in the house together, when my husband wants to be by himself, when my son wants to be by himself, it's kind of like, all right. And today is no exception, just because it's my birthday. We've been on top of each other. I am getting a meal cooked for me tonight, though. My husband is making something I really like. It's got apples and pasta and chicken. and I'm going to talk about 10 things about me that even if you know me, you might not know about me. Might not. The first thing, I can't ride a bike. I didn't learn when I was younger. I rode one with training wheels for a little bit, but because I'm so wobbly and cautious, I didn't just go, so I just didn't do it again. I don't know how to ride a bike. That's it. Number two, I haven't been to a salon for anything in 10 years plus. Yeah, uh, we can tell you don't go to a salon and you should. I don't. I enjoy messing with myself. It's okay. Number three. I'm one of those people who has to have my volume in whole numbers. Our volume does half numbers. But when I can see the numbers, it's got to be an even number, and I like it to be a whole number. So it came up on Twitter once, and I was just like, all right, not just me. Number four. This has come up also. And I'm apparently an evil person according to everything online. I pour my milk before my cereal. I'm one of those people. And let me explain why I do this. <laughs> what I do is I pour the milk, I put a little bit of cereal, and then I eat it before it gets like super soggy. And then I have more milk, so then I put more cereal. And then I keep doing that until either I run out of milk, or the milk is just way too sweet to keep going to do that, and then I just drink the milk. You don't have to like it. There's no right or wrong way to do anything, in my opinion, if you're not hurting anybody. So guess what? Yes, I pour my milk first. It's really windy outside. And pineapple on pizza is fine. I have no problem with that. I actually kind of like it. Number five. I have had anxiety for a very long time. In junior high school, I had gotten an, an echocardiogram done because I had been complaining of uh, just a feeling of tightness on my chest and feeling like I couldn't breathe. And the results apparently came in and everything in my heart was normal. The doctor said it's most likely stress or anxiety take her out of school one day, do something nice. And my mother took me out of school and took me to the mall. I got my uh, first pair of filas. And let me tell you, in junior high, 90s, number six, I had shingles in my early 20s. Um, I had shingles, middle of my back. I thought it was a mosquito bite, then I thought it was a spider bite, and then it just seemed like a bit of a rash going on, and shingles. I've also had something called uh, pityriasis rosea, which actually is a segue to the next thing. And this next thing, this number seven, Frasier, if anyone watches that show as much as I do, you might remember what I'm talking about if I say this. Martin was looking through a telescope at a woman in another apartment across the way. And he asked Frazier, what was that rash you had on your butt or something like that? He said, pityriasis rosea. And apparently that disease doesn't really show up on your butt. And because I had had it, I was like, hey, oh my God, like I knew everything. When it comes to Frazier, I love, I love the show Frazier. The thing about me that people may not know, even if they know I love Frazier, is that I had a huge crush on David Hyde Pierce, Niles Crane. I had an art class in community college and 
one of the things we had to do was do like a pop style version of somebody that we admired or liked or just says David Hyde Pierce, Niles Crane. Yeah. Number eight. Back in the day, when New Kids on the Block were big and popular, I shared a room with my sis one of my sisters, and both of my sisters were huge fans. They were big. They had the posters. They had a pillowcase. They had a doll. Um, they knew all the songs. I knew a lot of the songs, too, but I wasn't a big... Like, I wasn't a fangirl. I've never been a fangirl like that. So when they were all huge fans of New Kids on the Block and they had posters up, my sister had posters everywhere and I realized I was only a year younger than her. I thought it was maybe weird that I didn't have posters like that. I was like, am I weird that I don't really want anybody up on my wall? So what I ended up doing was rip ripping apart a calendar from the previous year that I had held on to because it had cute pictures of puppies and kittens on it. And while my sister had New Kids on the Block and Ralph Macchio up on her wall, you look over on my side of the room, and there's puppies and kittens ripped out from a calendar. That's me. That's what I did. Number nine. In my teens, when I sat at the computer, before um, the internet was really a thing, more when people were getting on there and realizing that Minesweeper and Solitaire was a thing. I would play Solitaire for hours, and I would listen to music. If I put classical music, I'd either kind of vocalize to it, or I would do strange soap opera stories meaning I would act out a man's voice and a woman's voice in very dramatic scenes. That's what I did. Number 10 is I have a really hard time watching or listening to things without linking them to something else. There's a lot of times when I'll watch something and I'll see an actor that you might not know their name, it's just the face. I'm not very good with names, but faces. Hey, weren't they in blah, blah, blah? It, it happened, but I do this with music a lot. Um, does anyone know Xanadu from the 80s? The songs in Xanadu were sung by, a lot of them were done by ELO, Electric Light, or Light Orchestra, and there was a song called Don't Walk Away. In that song, there's a part where they say, gone, gone, and it sounds very much like in sync song, gone, gone, just those notes, they're similar. That's it. That's it. I linked those two just because of that gone. So the other one is um, Carly Rae Jepsen singing Call Me Maybe and two print and the, the two princes. This one wants to call you baby. Just call me maybe. I do that all the time. I don't know why I mix them together. The Silent Hill theme with Portishead, Nobody Loves Me. If you don't know that, that link is out there though. I believe Portishead, there's a poster in the game. That's a reference that's already there and out there. If you've never heard the two next to each other, do it, especially when the beat kicks in with Porta said nobody loves me. It does the same thing as Silent Hill. It's like da -da 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 and then the doom doom because nobody loves me. It's true, not like you do. If you don't know that song, listen to it and then listen to the Silent Hill original theme again. It's similar and that was 10 weird things about me so if you like this video i don't really say this very much not really um please share like it uh give me some feedback if you hate me just give me a, just give me a dislike and move on you don't have to say stuff just be like i don't really like her or don't say anything and go you know just be cool especially today it's my birthday this is all i have <sighs> no pressure <laughs> bye Here's a bonus weird thing that is a little morbid. The year that I was turning 18, which was 1997, the, the weekend before, I heard over the news that some local kid had passed away. And I heard them say he was going to be 18 this Wednesday. 
and I was going to be 18 that Wednesday. So I looked at the screen and I saw his face and it made me so sad that I said happy birthday out loud to him the day of my birthday. And every year since I've done that. So happy birthday to you. I don't even know his name. It was just, a, you know, a teenage thing to just notice. And for some reason, I made it a ritual every year. The next year, I remembered it. And the year after, I remembered it. And then I just kept doing it. But that's like one of those things that just, we all have our weirdness. And that's one of them.